Hi everyone, welcome to Roper Mountain Science Center. I'm Amy St. John and I am so excited for you to join us today for your Behaviors of Light lesson. Um, I'm going to jump quickly to introduce our speaker. This is Miss Valerie Mosier. Um, she's going to be taking you through your lesson today. Uh, she's our STEM specialist here at Roper Mountain Science Center and I hope you have a great experience. Hi guys, I'm Val Mosier here at Roper Mountain Science Center and today we are going to be talking about light and all about different aspects of light and the behaviors of light, different properties of materials and how light interacts with it. Um, I've got lots of stuff on my table, we're going to go through all of it. Um, so let's go ahead though and guys I do want to tell you there's going to be times that I'm going to switch over to a different camera view so we're going to see kind of a close up at that point. Um, so we're going to go ahead and switch camera views right now and we're going to um, test the light source which is a red laser and we're going to test it with one of my favorite things which is gummy bears. All right, so in case you can't quite make out now that I put the light on it, right? We just have a basic gummy bear, okay? So I have a red gummy bear here and a green gummy bear here, and I'm shining a red laser on it. Now I'm going to use some special um, spray, which is like a fake smoke, and I'm going to shine it, or sorry, spray it onto our little bears here, and so you can see the laser lines. Now, something appears a little different between the red gummy and the green gummy. So one looks a little brighter than the other, and there's a reason for that. So we're gonna think about that. We're gonna think about our sources of light today. We're gonna think about how light interacts with different objects, and we're gonna come back to that shortly, okay? All right, so think about that for now. We're just gonna keep our gummies off to the side, and guys, I'm gonna switch boxes on us, and we're gonna go now um, to a different box that has three lasers in it also. So they're all green lasers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our green lasers on. And what we're going to do is see how those sources of light, which are our lasers in this case, are going to interact with different materials. Now I have three different materials in my box. I have this material, okay, which you can see through, right? And then I have this material, which you can also see through, but it's not clear like the first one. Okay, a little different. And then I have this material, which is very dark, and notice how you can't see anything behind it. Okay, so three different materials. So we have material one, two, and then three, which is the dark material. Now, my laser lights are on, but it's a little hard to see with this lighting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray or spray a little bit. And as I'm doing so, make some observations about what you see in our box there. And I want you to pay special close attention to what's happening on the back of each tile. Now, um, this one, the laser beam is coming the entire way through, right? It's not stopping at all. This one is stopping some of it. We can see a little point of light where the laser is hitting it. So we see some of it coming through. And this one, we can't see anything. This is blocking it completely. So we classify materials when they interact with light in three different ways. We say that materials that allow all the light through are transparent. Materials that allow only some of the light energy through are translucent. Some of it's absorbed, some of it's reflected, some of it's kind of scattered, okay? And then opaque, that stops all the light from coming through. Okay, so these are kind of our ways we classify materials when they interact with light. Now, I want to try a different material, and I'm going to use just one laser this time, and we're going to see if we can see what happens when we shine our light on this material. Now, this material is this stuff right here. So, Maybe guys think about what this is. You might have this at home, maybe in a bathroom, maybe in your room, okay? And it does something special when light hits it. So I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it. And I'm gonna prop up my laser a little bit so we can shine the light on it. I'm gonna kind of move it right there, there we go. And you see the little green dot on there, okay? So I'm gonna use my spray again so we can see it. And the laser light is bouncing off of it. 
okay? It's what we say, it's reflecting. And you guys probably already figured out this is a mirror, right? So mirrors reflect the light, which means it bounces or off of it or changes direction. Now, I'm going to also put a second mirror here because it's so fun to see it. I'm gonna spray the spray again, okay? All right, and we can see how it reflects again a second time. We can see that light travels in straight lines and light is a form of energy. So we can do different things with that energy. In this case, we're reflecting our light off of our mirrors. Now my question for you, and I want you guys to think about this, um, is what type of material is our mirror? Is our mirror transparent? Is it translucent? Or is it opaque? Okay, so think about that. Which one do you think it is? And I'm gonna shine my laser light on it again. And it's not coming through the back side, okay? So hopefully you have figured out that our mirror is opaque, which means it is stopping all the light from coming through. But our mirrors also have that special property to be able to reflect the light and change direction. All right, guys, now I want to explore a little bit about our sources of light. Um, I'm going to turn my, I actually have a light source right underneath here under my camera. I'm going to turn that one off a second. Okay, and what I want us to do is I want us to look at the back of the box. Okay, so we're going to look at this back wall right here. And I'm going to shine both my flashlight, I have a little flashlight here, which is a source of white light. I want you guys to think about other places maybe that we have sources of white light. All right, I'm gonna, I've got them in one of the box and they're shining here. So here's our green um, laser and here's our kind of white light. I'm gonna put a little spray on it, helps us see it. And really quickly, watch this white line here, right? It's kind of wider and spread out, especially compared to our nice um, thin kind of laser line here, our green light. Now, what I want you to do is watch right here. I'm gonna move, and here. I'm gonna move our light sources closer, okay, to the back of the box. And how does that light appear now? Does it appear more bright or less bright? Hopefully it appears more bright because the closer we get to an object, closer we bring that light source, um, the brighter an object appears, okay? So that's kind of how brightness um, and distance are related. So the, the closer we get to it, um, with our light source, the brighter it appears. Same thing with our green one, although our laser dot is so fine and small, it's hard to see on here. All right, now, um, one other way that light interacts with objects um, is a special property called refraction. So we're going to see how light refracts or bends through this object. So any idea what this object is? All right, if you know, you probably already made a guess. And if you said a prism, you are correct. And we are going to kind of switch around. Um, and I'm gonna show you on the main view what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna take a really bright light source here. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of in the dark. Um, and half my board is lit, half is dark. I'm gonna go way over here. You can't even see me now, I'm still here. Um, and we're going to take this white light, I'm gonna get close to it because I want it to be nice and bright, and we're gonna bend the light, which means we're going to refract it, and I want you to see what happens when we bend white light, okay? And I'm gonna ask you guys to look kind of in that dark spot over there. You should see something, hopefully some colors, all right? Hopefully we're seeing red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and you guys know this is the rainbow, or we would say the light spectrum. Now, white light, it turns out, is actually um, not just white. I'm standing in the dark again. You guys can't see me. I'm going to stand over here. All right. Um, it's not really white. It's actually made up of all the different colors of the rainbow. Okay, so it's many colors combined together, that red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. All right, so all those colors are in white light. All right, guys, now, we talk about refraction. There are lots of day-to-day -day applications for refraction, refraction sorry, um, and a tool like this, a little magnifying lens, right, or maybe you wear glasses. Um, one thing that scientists use is this 
and refraction is really important to be able to use this tool because inside are lenses like this okay so maybe you've made a guess at what this is we use it to look at the stars and the planets okay if you said a telescope you are correct now i'm going to show you the inside view of a telescope there's a, a main lens right here the light comes in here and it travels in here after it's bent through the lens and there's a special point in which that all comes together for us to see an image clearly so we can gather all that light from far away in outer space and bend that light so we can see an image and then we kind of magnify it again using something called an eyepiece which also has an, a lens in it so on my board here i'm going to use my three green lights laser lights because it's really cool to see it this way as my source of light so this is um, a planet or stars right light coming from that it's going to go inside the tube of the telescope through this lens right here and I'm going to use my spray and we're going to kind of watch what happens to those lines as we move along. Okay, so we have the light coming in here and then it goes through the lens and it refracts or bends. And it comes together at this point right here. I'm going to cover it up for just a second right there and that's where we see the object clearly. Okay, we call that the focal point. And then we, it kind of magnifies again and we use an eyepiece to be able to see that a little bit better. All right guys, I know that looks super cool, right? All right, so that is our, um, very good, thank you. That is kind of our um, real world application to how we use light and those properties of light and how we're able to use refraction to bend the light. All right guys, you're doing awesome. I wanna wrap up with one final thing. I want to come back to our gummies. So we are going to switch camera views real quick. And we are going to put our gummies back in place. All right, I'm going to turn my little light on so we can see them a little bit better. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to replace my small gummies with giant gummy bears. Because who doesn't love giant gummy bears? All right, and apparently they're literally a thousand times bigger than a regular gummy bear. All right, now, red light source again on it. Um, and what we're going to do is spray our spray on it. And hopefully you made some observations the first time. It's a little easier to see with our giant bears. Our red one looks really bright. Our green one, can't even see the light through it at all. The green gummy bear is absorbing all this red light. The red gummy bear, though, is, is reflecting off of the gummy bear. And some of it's being kind of scattered around and some of it's kind of being absorbed. Um, but what we're seeing is that reflected light that's coming back to us. So we see red when red light comes back to us. We can't see the green as well because we would have to have a green light on this to see that really well. Or we could use just white light. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like real quick with some basic gummy bears. Um, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna adjust our lights slightly one more time. And I'm gonna use my special red light again. So we're all about red today. Oh, turn my main light off. I got my red light here. Got some gummies down here. Now, when I shine the red light on them, Okay, what colors do you see? Some of them probably look like they're glowing, I think, a little bit. Um, probably see some yellow, and maybe these kind of darker ones look red. Well, remember, this light source is red, so the colors I can only see is the red light that's reflected back to me. But, if I put it under white light, which I'm gonna switch over here, and I put those same gummies under white light, we see different colors again. So now we see the green, we see the yellow, because white light has all the colors in it. So when white light shines on a green object, we get green reflected back to us. When white light shines on a yellow object, we get yellow reflected back to us. Okay, and that's the colors we see. All right, guys, awesome. We talked a lot about, uh, we're gonna switch cameras in just a second. We still got our gummy bears in view, which is great. Um, we talked a lot about light today, properties of light, how light interacts with different materials, um, sources of light, brightness of light. Um, we talked about that white light is actually made up of many different colors of light. And we know that when we see an object, the color we see is what's reflected back to us. 
All right, guys. Um, thank you for being with us today. And we hope to see you back at Roper Mountain. Come check out our virtual programs. We have lots more coming. Thanks again. Thank you.